Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 2 of this house build. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to set up the grid lines, the dimensions, and we started adding walls and levels. Now we're going to select this wall. And the easiest way to add anything that is already added before is by selecting that. So in this example, I'm, I want to select exterior wall number one. You can then type in CS. And then now you'll be able to add that same um, system or same object inside here. So now I'm go going to click on. A3, going to B3, and going to B4. Now we we created an enclosed part here. Press escape multiple times. And then now, I'm planning to add interior walls now. So here, I'm going to select wall again. And then edit type, I'm going to duplicate this. This will be interior wall number one. Press OK. Edit type. I'm going to maintain 150 millimeter thickness of the wall. And then here, let's add anything that is white. So I'm going to choose laminate ivory mat. And then press OK. And then OK. Once you finish that, you'll be able to add the wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the wall from here up to E3. And then from D1 up to Or I'm going to type in 25 or 2600. And then from grid line C, I'm going to add 2600 as well. As you can see, it's it was giving me the dash line indicating that I am parallel to this one as well. So that was easy to add. And then I'm going to add an interior wall as well here. And it will be 1800 from this wall. So I could select this and it will provide me a temporary dimension, which I could click here and then type in 1800 based from this wall. So it's an easier way to uh, get an exact dimension right here. So 1800. And then I'm also going to add an exterior wall from this side. So I'm going to select here CS, which is exterior wall that's create similar, which is this one. So CS that, and I'm going to add a wall right here, and then a wall right here. For the dimension, this should be around, so I'm going to select that, around 3800. And then here, the distance for this one, should be around i could select here and then it should be around 6 15. so it's just going around that after that i'm going to add in another exterior wall up to right here and connecting it from this slide up to 
D line. So this will be D3 going to D4. Now this is the, in, the enclosed portion, which will be, it's either a garage or a carport. The difference be, between a, a garage and a carport, a carport is an open area and a garage is something that is covered. Then let's add in an interior wall, CS. I'm going to add it right here and around right here usually i add the the walls first and then from here i'm going to set the dimension so here i'm going to select this wall and then i want to refer it from this line so this one should be 1650 so that's perfect and then i'm going to select this wall again and i want to refer it to this line to the grid line and then here I'm going to put 1115. So I have this opening right there. And then here I just want to change it a bit, just a little bit. So instead of 3800, let's put it 3660. And then we could just pull this one a bit. From the inside like that so that it's so just a little bit of this one then I'm just gonna double check what we did here I also want to add a closing here so this is going to be a washroom so I'm just going to close it and then I'm just gonna connect it from the line right here which is the corner of that now it's looking like that and then in terms of walls we're golden here um, we could add a wall right here just to differentiate both um, both of here because i'm planning to add a pantry here or just a storage and then this will be where the dryer and washer will be. So we could add in a storage shelving right here. Um, this is where the kitchen will be, the dining area, and then the living area. So we have enough space and this will be a small backyard. So here, um, let's add in the stairs. So you need to go to architecture and then click on stairs. From here, you want to be based from level one up to level two. So once you're good with that, you want the desired number of risers. So I'm going to put this one to 12. So six of each, I'm just going to press OK with that. And then I'll let um, Revit calculate e everything. So now I'm going to add six. So here, if I zoom in, I created six and then there's, there is six remaining, which is perfect. After that, I'm going to go on the other side and then add six again. From here, it created a landing because I basically created a parallel to this one. What I usually do is I click finish. And then from here, I'm going to select the stairs again and edit the stairs. For me, I usually do that so that I will know. Um, and sometimes there's there's complication when you're creating stairs. I just like it to be finished first and then edit. And then from here, as you can see, it's easy to manipulate. So you can put, for example, 950 for the width here and then 
an extra 950 here as well. So you'll be able to manipulate those. And then from there, I want my landing to be 1000, which is perfect because that's the minimum. Click finish again. And then once you click finish, you'll be able to select that again and then just put it in its place, which is right there. And as you can see, it's just over. So what you do is just click on edit again. Click on that. To put 925. And then here, select 925. And then from what I've seen, that's good enough. You can put it at 900. So let's edit it again. And then 900 right here. Oh, sorry. So as you can see, so 900 there. And then here, let's go 900. There we go. Click finish. And then now we could just move this one. Once you click finish, it's easier to move it when it's completed like that rather than doing it manually towards, towards the editing view. So I'm happy with the way it looks right now. So I'm just going to leave it like that. And then let's just do some touch up right here. I'm going to select the interior wall, CS. I'm just going to add a wall right here, which is around 700. And then a wall right here, which is 600. And then here, we're going to extend this a bit. So right now it's 2600. Let's make it 2700. And actually, let's make it 2900. Let's give some room here. I want to add some pantry right here. So I'm going to add this nook here. Around 700 will be good. And then we could just move it like that. And that, that's good enough. And there's a good chance that we're going to change this wall to a decorative wall. So that when they enter, they will have a nice view of the area. And it's not just a wall. So let's stop here for now and continue on the next video. Thank you for watching and hope you liked the video. Please hit like and subscribe. Feel free to comment down below.